Hello friends, welcome to my new Java programming tutorial. Today we will discuss what are switch statements in Java. So let's move ahead and see what actually switch statement have significance in Java programming language. So friends, if you look into the switch statement flowchart, you will see that switch statements executes say a particular statement based on the say value of an expression. So here suppose we have multiple statements say in the form of block 1, block 2, block n and default code. So what switch statement does that it takes in an expression value and say suppose it and it evaluates the expression and whatever value comes out it maps it with the case associated with the particular block. So suppose expression value which comes out matches with say block 1 case then this block is executed and then it goes to the rest of the code means which follows the switch statement and suppose is f x and suppose if expression matches to no value then the default code gets executed here and then it follows the rest of the code so friends here the switch statement makes decisions based on expression value and each of the block of code which follow which which is in the switch statement has a case associated with it this expression value matches with the case and if it matches with the case then the particular uh, block of code associated with the case gets executed and in each of the block of code it say the last statement is break statement because whenever the break is encountered the switch statements get break and the rest of code is executed and suppose uh, say we take an example that say expression value comes out to be 1 so this block of code it matches say it checks that the expression is equals to value 1 so this block 1 gets executed and if we place a break statement after the block 1 code then it breaks the switch statement then follows with the rest of the code but if we forgot to miss say a break statement then what the switch statement will do it will execute block 1 code then it will move to the block 2 and then it will move to the rest of the code followed by in the last say default code and then rest of the code so friends let's move in eclipse and see a working demo for the switch statement in java so friends let's see how we can use switch statements in java by a simple program so here i have created a class by name switch demo in that class i have created a method say public static void main and this is the method which gets executed whenever we run the program so i will write my whole code inside this method to demonstrate about the working of switch statement so friends uh, here i will take a simple example let's let's say suppose i do few sysouts So friends, here I placed four say system dot dot print ln statements, which says that top companies along with their codes. So I have just uh, say gave Google a code of Google company code one, Microsoft code two, and Apple code three to demonstrate our switch statements how it works. So after this, say suppose I prompt the user. So here I prompted the user that enter the code of your favorite company and in order to take the user input from the console I have, first I will create a scanner object in order to use scanner we have to import it it's in java.util package so in order to create a scanner object we have to pass in it as input stream here we have passed the system dot in as our input stream 
which helps the scanner to read the user inputs from the console. So after creating scanner object, we have say here prompted the user to enter the code for his favorite company say in either 1, 2 or 3. So we will capture that value 1, 2 or 3 in an integer variable. So for that we will create an integer variable int. So here scanner.next int will take that value whichever the user has entered here on the console and it will assign it to the code. And so now let's move ahead and see how we can use the switch statements in the working of our example. Say in order to use the switch statement we have to use switch keyword followed by parenthesis open and close curly braces and in the switch there only goes as a uh, value of a variable or an expression. So we are making this switch statement based on the value entered by the user here. So we will use the code here. So this code will be our expression value. And now we will create say three cases that whether the user is enter one, two or three. So there will be three cases. So case one. Here we have created a case and associated a value with it 1 because user can enter 1, 2 and 3. So we have entered uh, say value here 1 and and we'll associate a block of code with it. So we suppose we say so here this block of code is associated with the case 1. So whenever user enters say uh, input value say 1. So the one will be say assigned to this code and switch statement will, will evaluate this value and sees that it, the value is 1. It will match it with this case and this block of code will be executed on the con and this will be printed on the console saying you like Google. And after that we have to just put a break statement so that the switch statement gets break gets a break and, what and the code after that is skipped. So this was for case 1, say so suppose I copy it for case 2 and case 3. So here we have created 3 cases because here user will enter either 1, 2 and 3 the code. This code will evaluate and whatever the value comes out for this code here. The switch statement matches it with any of the case value say 1, 2 and 3 and it executes the block of code associated with that case and whenever the break is encountered the break this switch statement and comes out of it and whatever the code follows this switch statement gets executed. So we will just uh, place one default code here that suppose if user enters any other value other than 1, 2, 3 then we are placing a default code so that so after the 1, 2 and 3 case we have placed a default code say so suppose user enters a value other than 1, 2, 3 so switch statement will check that which that the value of code is mapping to uh, say neither of 1, 2 and 3. So it will execute this default code that whatever it will print something like you don't like any of the above companies and it will break and come out of the switch statement. So friends if and say after this switch statement I place one, one more code say my rest code. And now if I run the program, so here it prints something for me, say it says the top companies along with their codes. Google has code 1, Microsoft has code 2, Apple has code 3. So it asks that enter the code of your favorite company. So suppose here I enter say 1 and I press the enter key and whenever I press enter it prints that you like Google and then it prints the program about to exit. So what it actually did say it, it took the value 1 and the scanner.next took that value and assigned it to code and the switch statement the switch statement uh, evaluated this value and it was like coming as to be 1. 
so the switch statement check that which case is matching to this code value here it matches with the case one so it printed you like google and then it encountered a break so it skipped all the say case two case three default code and then finally it came out of the switch statement and printed program about to exit so friends if i say run it again and say this time i enter a value which is like say which is neither one two or three if i say enter six and i press enter it executes the default code that you don't like any of our companies means means in the switch statement it checked it whether the value of code which is six is ma matching to any of the case one two or three so it found that no of the case was matching so it executed the default code that you don't like any of our companies and then it encountered a break and it came out of the switch statement and it executed program about to exit so friends in the switch block this break statement plays a very important role if suppose i skip any of the break statement say suppose i skip this break statement and i also skip this break statement and then i run the code again and this time i have skipped the case 3 break statement and if i run the program with say value entering value 3 so it printed you like apple and then it printed the default code as well that you don't like any of our companies means what it happened it checked that code is matching to this value then it printed this you like apple and after that it has to come out of switch statement but it didn't encounter any break over here so what switch, switch statement did it executed default code as well means do you don't like any of our companies and then it came out of the switch statement and then it printed program about to exit so friends in order to break the switch statement after execution of any of the say case we have to place a break code here say we have to put a break say break break keyword followed by a semicolon here here one more thing is to be noticed that instead of say here we use the integer value with java 7 they come they also came up with say we can also use the strings into the say into the cases say suppose i use the same example only and instead of having a say an integer i use now a string so suppose I say something like string and instead of get int I use next line and which will take the user input in the form of string and assign it back to code variable and now in the say instead of case 1 2 3 suppose I put something like say google Microsoft, Apple, say so here instead of now say any integer value now we are using a string value say Google, Microsoft and Apple in the case so if I run the program now say it it's prompt says enter the code for your favorite company so but but in our example now we are using instead of the code we are using the string value so suppose i enter something like google and i hit enter so it printed you like google and then it exited the program so what it actually did here the scanner or next line it took over the value which we entered google it assigned it to the code it evaluated the switch statement evaluated the value here it found that user has entered a string with the name google so it it, it got a match here that uh, for this google case execute these two lines of code so it executed these two lines of code it came out of the switch because of the break and it finally printed the program about to exit so friends here also 
if we say print something like if we run this program again and this time say I enter any other company say Accenture and I hit enter so it takes tells that you don't like any of our company because here in our cases we never mentioned Accenture so it executed the default code for us stating that you don't like any of our companies and then it printed program about to exit so friend this was the simple demo based on the switch statements in java